Hello, my name's James, and I'm here to introduce you to the Synergy Electric Chargo 600. The 600 Chargo is built at our factory in Cambridge. The heating elements on this grill are what makes it unique. The patented system that we use to embed elements into the plates give even and consistent cooking throughout. When you first receive your grill, we unpack it as normal. There's a little bit of extra wrapping, take care as you're unwrapping the lid. When you receive it, you'll note that there is a layer of oil over the bars and the heat plate underneath, and that is to protect the heat plate and the bars from little bits of light rusting, as cast iron and mild steel can be susceptible to a little bit of rusting. If there is rusting on your bars, this is nothing to worry about, and we'll cover that in a separate video about how to season and treat your grill. So once you've unpacked your grill, just check that everything's in place. You'll receive insert for your slow cook shelf, and you can start. The grill takes approximately 45 minutes to heat up, maybe an hour maximum if your voltage is a little bit low. So the Synergy grill comes with 10 temperature settings. <clears throat> Numbers one really, and, and two and three are kind of more like standby modes or if you're simmering or in between service, things like that. Four, five and six is if you're kind of controlling multiple pieces of equipment, maybe you're on your own in the kitchen, you want things to go a little bit slower for you, those are the kind of numbers for you. Generally re recommend using on number seven or eight. Um, this will do quite a lot of fatty foods and burgers you know, really nicely. Uh, number nine and number 10 is more if you're at, your menu is aimed at prime and lean cuts that don't have much fat content in it. You want to get a really good sear on a steak or a tomahawk or something like that, then we'd recommend setting number 10. As this is a Chargo model, to change the temperature of the oven when the lid is down, we press the square button and we can change that temperature from zero, which you'd never really use, but somewhere between, let's say, 150 if you want to just slow cook and finish off the sensors at core temperatures of meats. Um, for today, we're going to set this at 200 degrees. We're going to cook a nice big T-bone steak on there, get a nice sear on the outside, and then finish it under the lid as an oven. Now the electric part of this grill is like any other Synergy electric grill. Allow it 45 minutes to heat up. Once the bars are lovely and smoking and hot, you can cook on it every single part of this grill. It's a really even and consistent temperature. The slow cooking shelf here, depending on what temperature you have the grill set on, will be somewhere around kind of 180 to 200, 210 Celsius when the lid is up. So when you get your grill, you'll receive um, a couple of leaflets with it. One is around how to clean your grill. The next um, section is around how to season the bars and take care of the bars either when, when you first receive your grill or how to maintain them during cooking and also tells you a little bit about how to store your grill if you don't use it every day, maybe just use it for special events and things like that. The grill is also supplied with a scraper tool which helps scrape a lot of the debris, initial debris off the bars. We also have a lifting tool which helps you lift the bars up. We'll leave that off and I'll just talk through what the paint plate is doing in a moment. Depending on what your organisation uh, kind of approves, you'll also need some sort of grill cleaning brush which really helps work in between the bars. How does a Synergy electric grill work? Well, our gas grill operates by heating up ceramic stone to 500 degrees Celsius and then transmitting that heat through to the bars. The electric grill, instead of having a ceramic surface, has a mild steel plate and inside the plates are heating elements which cover the entire kind of surface of the grill. Now those heating elements will take this mild steel plate up depending on the temperature you have between 500 and 530 degrees Celsius. Bar temperature that is achieved on this is largely through conduction will reach between so 300 and 350 degrees Celsius. The advantage of having the elements embedded into the plates means really good consistent heat distribution across the whole surface of the grill. The rear of your grill will be a little bit hotter than the front because the heat is kind of held in uh, by the kind of rear upstand and the, and the lid which makes the back a little bit hotter than the front. We also, once the grill is up to temperature, the fans will kick in and they'll create an, a vortex of air that sits between the bars and the heat plate. This helps further distribute the heat more evenly around the grill. It also helps blow out any flames that you'll start to see naturally occurring as fats drip onto the hot plate and vaporise. The electric grill's heat plate works in the same way as the ceramics on a Synergy gas grill in that as soon as fats, oils and solids hit the plate, 
The solids will turn to dust. The liquids will evaporate as steam and keep the food moist. It also ensures there's a, re a reduction of debris going up into your extraction because that debris is encouraged to stay within the grill by the air vortex, which means a reduction in cleaning in your canopies. It also means a cleaner flavour as that debris doesn't make its way onto your food product. To find out more information about the Synergy Chargo range, please click the link below or visit our website.